Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 11th of October. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you the major strands of this week as an overview and then dive deep for each individual zodiac sign. So please stay with me. Now the major news story this week is that Saturn, the ruler of time, Saturn is the Latin uh, version of Kronos, the Greek god. Kronos, old father time. So Saturn governs the mechanics of things. It's very much to do with where we're applied, where we're disciplined, but it can also be about limitation and obstacles and contraction. And since the 23rd of May, Saturn has been retracing its steps in the sign of Aquarius, which of course it co-rules. But for vast amounts of that time, it has been pretty much in a square with Uranus, the other ruler of Aquarius, which is very progressive and freedom loving, very much about trying new things, where Saturn's very much about traditionality. So if you have experienced a period of great frustration in your situation, and it feels that things just haven't been moving forwards, it's really positive that Saturn starts to station direct. But this week also sees the Sun and Mars in the sign of Libra in a combination which is pushing us to assert our rights around relationships in a tense right angle with Pluto, the planet of transformation. And this can lead to some quite forceful or heated standoffs. But those relationships that are much more constructive are given an opportunity to become even more stable and progressive because Venus, the planet of relating in the sign of philosophy, Sagittarius, is linking brilliantly to Saturn. So that's a, a real upside to this week. But there is a quarter moon which occurs on Wednesday and this one is pretty close to Pluto and it's the moon in Capricorn and that's squaring to the sun in the seventh house. Do you know, there may be a situation where we do actually try very much to fit in with what's expected of us, but somehow or another, whoever we're trying to relate to, will still find that our efforts just are not good enough. So expect to encounter someone who really is quite hard to please, and that could in itself be quite frustrating if we're really trying our best to be quite constructive. Now the other thing to tell you is that by the end of this week, both Mercury and Jupiter on Sunday are ending their retrogrades, both uh, in air signs, the Mercury retrograde in Libra and Jupiter in Aquarius. But I will tell you more about that next time. But the big news story this week is definitely that Sun Mars square with Pluto and Saturn going forwards. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you want your free daily written horoscope fired to your device each morning, please click on the subscription link beneath this video. I write for some of uh, the world's bigger platforms and also for the British Press Association, I've been their lead astrologer for many years, and also Britain's most read daily newspaper, The Metro, so why not grab yours too? And with year 2022 fast racing up, if you want to understand what the year holds for you personally, based on your time, date and place of birth, you can order your forecast now and get the rest of this year free, plus a character analysis, plus 30% off. So gain searing insights for what lies ahead for you. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 11th of October. Saturn, the planet of structure and the planet of discipline, but also the planet of limitation has been turning backwards in your sector of everyday communications since the 23rd of May. So anything to do with text messages, emails, relationships with siblings or neighbours may have felt difficult or frustrating or there may have been misunderstandings or someone may have seemed rather resistant to any viewpoints that you've had to share. But this week, 
not only does Saturn go forwards, he also forges a wonderful link to Venus in your sign. If you can get the balance between diplomacy, which comes from Venus in your sign, and meaning and saying what you really mean, but in a controlled way, then a very effective conversation can unfold for you this week, which will be really helpful. The problem is, is that the Sun and Mars are still allied in your 11th house. The 11th house can be quite idealistic. It's a quite, kind of quite of Aquarius energy, rather similar to your own. It's also about group interactions. It can be about your future direction in life. And when you put the Sun and the Mars uh, uh, alliance together, it's quite combustible. And of course, we're still surfing the energy of the, uh, of the new moon, which occurred last week in the sign of Libra which also had the rather, you know, random energy of Uranus threaded into its connection with the Sun and Mars. So I would say that if you feel strongly about a point of principle, it's vitally important that you don't force your view too strongly because Pluto and the quarter moon in your sector of everyday resources are linking in a very sharp and difficult and dislocating angle to the Sun and the, the, the Mars combination. So it's easy for us to feel that we're in the right and that you know we're entitled to express our frustration or annoyance but of course sometimes uh, situations are not always as they seem. So the earthy energy of Pluto in the second house is you can you know thinking about money, resources and your self-worth but the more idealistic energy of the Sun and Mars could see because it's quite an airy combination and of course they're in the sign of balance, Libra, could see you try to go for an objective that's not achievable in a more realistic way, could see you trying a bit too hard, could see you trying to force something that would be better served by embracing the energy of Venus which is about diplomacy and it is about staying true to what's important to you. You know, your sign is very much about uh, saying it as it is, but the more constructive link with Saturn uh, that there is this week gives you an opportunity to say something just in the right way, and it could prove to be very effective. As the week draws to a close and your ruler Jupiter and Mercury uh, get to the end of their retrogrades, you're just on the cusp of feeling things really starting to move forwards in a much lighter and much more upbeat way, which I'll tell you more about that next time.